The truth is only what James gets away with, huh? You can't do the same <clears throat> trick twice. What? What does he mean? Don't worry. Doesn't involve you. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of the Jar Media Podcast. It's 2.50! Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> I am back. <coughs> I am uh, I'm back. Mm-hmm. Um, today we're joined by the usual, the usual suspects, uh, Mr. I... I hate everything incorporated. And uh, hey. Jamie. And I am James and I'm back from fighting the wars in influenza. <laughs> you never know how James is going to intro it. It's just uh, you never do. It's always what is a, it, the the way you began there with the <laughs> what was that? Bit? Blah. 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 Maybe we should just intro every episode like that now. Mm. It's like Screw a, the intro. Like a Rick Ross thing. <laughs> Ooh, James don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're back. Um, it's been... I haven't been here for the last few episodes. It's flu season. Yeah, got mm-hmm. flu really bad. It was awful. We were saying earlier, it's like it's the worst flu ever. Yeah, I've never experienced something that pa- straight, straight up painful. It's like I spent days like unable to do a single thing. So it was just like my head was like head concussion levels of pain. Mm-hmm. And it's like it, you get to the end of it and it's like, oh, I, I can finally feel alive. And then I got this horrible brain fog, this weird dissociation yeah. for like over a week and it was miserable. But we're back. We're back and I'm here to bring a balance to the John Major podcast once again. Balance? Yeah. Like... Balance. Like balance. Balance. Before we get too deep into the show, let me shout out the Jar Media Patreon. It makes the audio version possible, and if you're a Sandy tier or above, you can have your name read out at the beginning of each month in the first week. As long as we remember. <laughs> no, we actually, we're pretty consistent yeah, well, with that. <laughs> we've never not remembered. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, man. We had a good one last episode. It was just Jim and I. We had some interesting topics come up. Um, a couple of, a couple of uh, ones we need to readdress just to sort of okay. clear up some of these conversations with, we with have the had. third party involved. With as the well. third party, the, so the objective get, third party yeah, yeah. is necessary. So let's, let's do some housekeeping. Let's address some of the stuff from last week. Just keep it clean around here. Um, we talked about the Rock and his song. You've seen it, I assume. Jeff. Yeah, I've, I've, about I've seen. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. It's become a huge meme. Um, mm-hmm. So that's the only way I've seen it is the parody version. Yeah, yeah. Of um, but Jim and I were particularly hung up on one of the last words in his his section where he mentions the word manner. And we were making all these like gamer jokes like, oh, the rock, the rock must be a gamer. <laughs> like, like the idiots who we are. But a placeholder left a comment saying, Joe boys, manner is a Polynesian word for strength. The rock is Polynesian. He isn't talking about anything relating to games, lol. <laughs> Oh, boys. Man, you know... You should have done your research. Yes. Yeah, no, M- mana is better known as magic. As gamer magic? Yeah. He must have known what he was doing. No, I it's, disagree. It's, no, it, I think he's quite away from, like, mainstream games. I think not everyone's yeah, he's not know. Vin Diesel. We got him confused, yeah. maybe, with Vin Diesel's affinity for... Mana. For kind of dorky things. Yeah. You know? So, sorry about that. Huge apologies. Massive apologies for that one. If it was intentional, it's... The Rock gains a bit of cred. If if it wasn't, then... If what was intentional? If it was intentionally a gamer reference? Yeah. No, but we're, 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 we're being told it's just straight up not. <laughs> and that it's linked to his Polynesian heritage. I mean, that's, that's... What do you have to say for yourself? Look, when you're putting your, your, your thoughts and opinions uh, in front of uh, 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 an audience, mm. you can't be 
accounted for. <laughs> <laughs> no accountability. <laughs> um, James, what do you think of whale noises? Straight up. See, while I was away and unable to do anything, I did watch the cast. So oh, you did? did? I so did, you know about I, this conversation? I, and I was reading comments about the whales. Whale noises of just... I don't know how to feel about them. Really? You're torn? Yeah. So you have no emotional response when you hear that... It's stuff. creepy. There you go. It's so quite creepy on side, and it's yeah. sombre, but at the same time it's like... Because there is a whale where... His like frequency is on a level no other whale is. So he will never find any other whale because no other whale can hear him. And that's like really depressing. What, what, how come you're saying as if it's him, as if it's like one whale? Yes, one one whale. Oh, you're saying there's one whale that... That has a frequency of, of whale noise, I guess, that's, that other whales can't hear. No, it's a sad story. So he, he, his calls for mates will never be heard by anyone. And that's yeah. like, that's mates, a little bit... Mates, where are you? <laughs> that's a little bit... <laughs> and whenever I hear whale noises, I just think of that like story and it, it's like depressing. There were a surprising amount of comments to do with this whole whale thing. Um, I think we made the mistake we were talking about giant squids and whatnot, and I mentioned like a type of whale that eats them or something, but Brub5 left a comment saying, Guys, you're thinking of sperm whales, the largest toothed whale. Humpbacks and blue whales are baleen whales. They filter small animals from the water to eat. So humpbacks and blue whales don't go around eating giant squids, so that's more of a sperm whale hobby. Well, not hobby. What do you call it if it's just how you survive sort of thing? Just... Hobby. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, there was an interesting one here from Sun Praising Man who says, As a student currently studying to be a cetologist, your conversations about whales really pique my interest. I'm so, I, I, I've never read cetologist before or... Or have heard that. Heard. Is so it okay. no, it's C-E-T-O. Logist. Right? Sounds right? Yes. C Cetologist. Mm. Your conversations about whales really piqued my interest. So it's a no-brainer I would find whale sounds relaxing. Though, did you guys have humpback, sperm, or orca whales generally in mind while you're talking about them? I'd also definitely swim with orca whales first given the chance, despite them being the most dangerous. There's just something so fascinating about the apex predator of the sea also being generally fr friendly with humans. The apex predator of the land, as there was only one case where a wild orca ever attacked anyone, and that incident only occur occurred because an orca was trying to grab a free diver bag of crawfish. I don't know what whale... I, I, I honestly didn't put enough research into it. Yeah. To know that, like, oh, obviously all the whales have different sounds, different calls. I'd... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to hear a whale and be like, yep, yeah, that, that's a, an orca. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I would assume just, like, blue whale noises would be the ones we're thinking of. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's one I, that I, comes into my mind. They're the most mainstream but... whale, right? <laughs> I don't know if I'd mainstream want to... Mainstream whale? Yeah, the mainstream whale. I don't know if I'd want to swim with whales, though. I won't. I wouldn't personally. I, but, but I'm like a renowned. I can't swim. Doesn't like the, mm. the ocean. Um, yeah, if but you can't swim. Just, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to swim with a whale. Yeah. yeah, it's probably not a good idea to swim in general. And I don't. <laughs> there the you last, go. The 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 one time I did, I all drowned. So you know, you drowned. Yeah, we've gone over what this story the? so many times in America. I drowned. That's why I don't like America, because, you know, I almost died. <laughs> you died? Well, yeah, I, I was... I was, I took in water. I drowned. You drank? You inhaled water? Yeah, and drowned. No, but if you drowned, you wouldn't be here, right? Well, I got saved. You can drown... You got resuscitated? Could... Yeah, I guess so. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm just saying... Let's do one more on this whale thing from Jack Diamond. And this might be one of the causes to why it's so freaky to me, this whole whale thing. Honestly, whale noises and seeing something come from the abyss is a huge reason I fear the sea. Those whale no noises the dividers make in Dead Space 1 still give me chills. Also, question for you, Jar Boys, on the topic of being titled a wizard. Uh, I don't know if we need to talk about this wizard thing again, but... um, 
yeah, I, I, th I think using the whale sounds in like video games and for horror things is effective. Yeah. It does yeah, have the, really we kept, what did we kept calling mm. them? Eldritch, like Lovecraftian. Lovecraftian. Yeah. No, it is creatures. very, very no, I Lovecraftian. I, I, I was watching a, um, a David Attenborough thingy with whales in it. And there is something about their eyes. Because you can it's, tell there's, like, there's something going on behind them. Yeah, eyes. it's those mammalian eyes. Mm hmm. Well, there's like, intelligence. There's there. intelligence and like thought. There's something going yeah. on behind those eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of indescribable. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like being face to face, like being face to face with that eye. Yeah, that's what I mean. Can I you could, I, I don't think I could swim with. A, I, I'd happily like watch a whale from a boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. but swimming with a whale, mm, I don't know. I don't want my head to like explode with information. Yeah, it does make me think society. of like those those Lovecraftian stories or like the music video to the what the fuck is that song called? Um, Die Fantasy. You remember that where they like go in the swimming yeah, pool yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there's like yeah. the whole like they see something their brain can't comprehend and so mm -hmm. then their eyes go like. Who <laughs> imagine that kind of feeling if you're just yeah yeah, no, yeah I get, it's I get something you. about the ocean. Mm -hmm. You're like so dwarfed. You're so overpowered by everything. Yeah, just so out, out of your, your element. element. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, there, there was actually so many comments, and it's so dense, and there's so many topics I still want to talk about. I'm gonna to have to cut it off here with a fairly long one from Galaxy Ulysian. Hey, Jar, software dev here to explain how fucking wrong you guys were about Instagram listening in. <clears throat> so we mentioned about this. I, no, I've I've got a counter to this. I know it's anecdotal. And it's about listening in. I was in a Discord call. My phone was on the table. I said, I said this. His car is a fucking shed. I went on my phone and I started getting advertised sheds. <laughs> no, no. Because it's the whole thing is based Whoa. around... They, they've they got... I've read into this before where they're taking what we think they're doing. They're doing so advanced, so far ahead of what we think. Like, the things we think they're getting info from is, like, yeah, yeah. so nothing compared to what they can get. So they're building a complete persona of what you will be interested in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. I'll, I'll read what this guy says. Trying to make this short, but basically Instagram, Google, Facebook, whatever, they don't use your microphone to listen in to conversations. They make their money by selling your data to ad companies. We all know that by now. Mm. They don't sell you specifically, though. They sell groups of users who will then receive those ads. But how do those groups get made? Let's say a company wants to sell Madagascar shirts. Their company knows their audience is normally children. Parents of children, movie connoisseurs. The Madagascar company approaches Facebook, Instagram, Google, etc. and gives their target audience. Big tech company then needs to find people who belong to these groups. There's lots of different ways and that can get pretty creepy. For example, if you have a friend who loves getting Jerusalem fried chicken, they search it up on Google, follow their Facebook page, post pictures of it on their Instagram, etc. Then they'd be in the group that JFC ads would target. If that friend comes to your house a lot, big tech company could pick up that their account keeps coming from your IP address, so it would start serving you ads for JFC, even if you never showed interest. Not just done through IP addresses. If you message a lot on Facebook, Insta is another way it's done. All the big tech co companies put you in interest groups that they've identified. Some of them are creepily accurate, some are just insanely wrong. Old Instagram would assume you're a fan of the Iron Man fitness prog products if you like Marvel. If you want to check the interest groups, I'll add some links, they're fun to look at. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Big Tech doesn't listen to you, they track what you're doing on their services and place ads on their services to group your interests. Um, and then they sell those to ad companies. So what you're saying, basically. It's almost, it's almost creepier. It's almost like... But it doesn't explain my commode story. Um, there's no way... So you, so you just don't believe that they're not listening? Well, I... I why the fuck would I be advertised commodes? What am I because searching? If it, if it does go as deep as like IP addresses, and so it's like... Everyone who's coming into the house, every single person in the household, all the things they've been searching. They're, con they're basing what they can possibly... S so if one person has like been looking for commodes on Amazon, walks into my house, connects to my IP address... Well, according to Galaxy here, yeah. So no, the, way, the best way to prove this is when... 
You don't use a VPN on your phone when you're connected to the Wi-Fi in this house, do you? No. Have you ever been advertised anything about cars? When I'm at this house, I'm looking for car parts a lot of the time. I'm looking at cars. The, do you get anything the, car The problem related? is I never look at Facebook. I never look at Instagram. I basically never look at anything that has ads on it. I watch a lot of YouTube, but I have YouTube premium, so I never see ads. Oh well, yeah, that's 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 why then. Because it, it, it might be possible that if you were to use Facebook, Instagram, you might get car stuff as an ad because of me. Because the way so they do, do the it... So work via, via IP address or... Like I assume it's a combination no, it's, of all sorts yeah, of different Yeah, it's like a connection of when you're in the proximity of someone and that they can, they can, they, they, it's like, but in a way it's like they do it because it's, if you know I like car stuff, my birthday's coming up, you're getting advertised car stuff that I would like. This, mm, this is starting to make sense to me actually because I, maybe somewhere I do remember seeing like car related stuff and cleaning like, products. Why probably. is it giving, yeah, and cleaning mm. products and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like it, if because you know that person likes it, so you're like that could be a good gift. So you're giving them money, you're making the business, you're making mm. everything that's there worthwhile. That, that is almost creepier. Mm. Yeah, because uh, like if I read this comment here and on the same lines from uh, Pip Ladocus, in regards to the subject of your phone listening to you, this is naturally true. Instead, the truth is much scarier. I listened to a news podcast a few years ago, either from the New York Times or the Guardian. And explain that algorithms have gotten so advanced that they can predict what you're going to be interested in. When you think that your phone is listening in on you, it's actually that you've been unknowingly dropped hints that the algorithm is picking up on. And it's just advanced enough to know what you're interested in, even without listening in on you. <laughs> Which is like, what even worse? <laughs> it's like reducing us down into code. It's very... Yeah, these algorithms are outsmarting us. Mm -hmm. People have created, like... We're heading straight into like an AI future. It is crazy, but I do think there's a certain amount to it. Like, why would I get advertised sheds? Out of the blue, when I've said shed to my friend about a car, like that, that there's no there's no data there that they could possibly get that might relate me saying shed to me getting sheds. But anyone in your household? No. At work. No, no, my but how do you know? Like at work, there was someone at work like had searched up sheds, and if it is like IP, because it was soon after I said it, we're talking five minutes from saying shed to getting shed. No, adverse. that's what the commode thing was like as well. Like, it it seems almost too convenient. Yeah, no, it, it like I I know about this stuff because I've read I've read a really detailed thing about it before from this guy who works in it like that darling. Mm -hmm. Like I it, it is obscene how it works, but it's like there's some situations where it's too perfect where it has to listen into some certain extent and i think with phones having siri you know google whatever google's one mm -hmm. is they i i i this can be on the table like far away and i might say one word and it's already popping up with the voice recognition and i haven't said anything that could do that but it's picking up on that i think that it's picking up on it it's just not being the, it's hard to say because I don't think they'll ever acknowledge that they are listening in because that would be too much. Oh yeah, they'd never admit it if yeah. they were. So it's like no no matter what anyone says, that we'll never know or not know about if they're listening in because it's too con controversial. So it's like you've got to assume that you, they are. See, I, I, I'm, no, I'm, I take their word for it. I believe the algorithm thing. No, the, no but the algorithm thing is true though that is 100% just fact yeah but I think there's more mm. I, I think, think it's other... possible that there's more yeah there's no there's no doubt these tech companies are doing all sorts of <laughs> bizarre things we yeah it's wild like back in the day it was like the only thing like this was the government listening to you <laughs> mm -hmm. now it's just every company of for like every product Every social media, every phone like provider. Yeah, yeah. The All data collection aspect, how yeah. valuable that data is for companies. It's like yeah. the core for everything. Yeah, it's mad. It's terrifying. It's yeah, it's it's absolutely crazy. It's just like you can't think about it. You just have to accept it and just live. Yeah, and look at monkey videos on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been advertised monkey products yet, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> There's something. Um, Seeing as we're talking about disturbing things, there's something disturbing I need I need to bring up. Um, I don't know if James would know about this, 
but Jim should, and it should trigger a memory. Um, that's I don't know. It might open some fucked up doors, right? <laughs> okay. I don't know how. Well, actually, no. It's thanks to the Jar Reddit. They they posted um, an image from a, a children's cartoon that I hadn't thought about since I was a child. Um, but upon being reminded, I got flashbacks and then started thinking, man, some of the stuff like that was on TV when we were kids was like quite like weird and sort of fetishy and bizarre. Oh no, the, there's that. Yeah, no, no. The, 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 <laughs> I, the, there's a lot of stuff. It's like people's fetishes are com- they're directly correlated <laughs> to the the cartoons. The weird as, cartoons, they were. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, no, yeah. Let me see if this rings a bell for you, Jim. Super duper sumos. Super duper sumos. Yeah, super <laughs> they got duper. Butts. Yeah, what the big the butts. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. I I rewatched like the intro, and it's like these three like sumo characters, and there's this real emphasis on their butts. It's like in there's a part in the intro in the intro to every episode of the show. There's a part where all the three of these sumos they like put their big bulging asses together in like a trilogy and then it like shoots a beam up into the sky. Oh my god. As yeah. the lyrics are going like super duper sumos, they got butts, big butts. <laughs> it is a tune though. Well yeah. <laughs> how uh, how did Jar Reddit find super duper sumo? But yeah. Even I saw that Jar Reddit post. Yeah. I saw I was just like But the fact that it was actually when I saw that, I had one of those like flashback yeah. end of Ratatouille in the meal thing. It was like, oh my god, I hadn't thought about this shit. <laughs> and then it made me think of because we would have we would have watched that when we were living on Jersey Island. Because do you remember you had the friend who was obsessed with Super Duper Sumo? Yeah, and he would run around like just yeah, in like his like tidy whities doing the sumo shit. Yeah. What the oh, fuck? God. Do you think he's got like a weird sumo fetish <laughs> thing? Yeah, <isn't> <laughs> Maybe he is a sumo man. <laughs> No, like, I, I, I keep seeing stuff because it's like I follow a lot of, like, artists and whatnot. There's, like, so, so someone's trying to do this really long, like, detailed essay about the development of fetishes in, in from cartoons. It's like, there is some there is something going on there. There straight, straight up, up fucking is. Because it's like, those, those cartoons were just, like, fucking... They were really specific about one specific thing. Mm-hmm. And the, well, the you, way they were, like, compilations of, on YouTube of, like, like, fart related shit from all these like kids cartoons all this like weird like shit so i've always like joked that like animators are like perverts right <laughs> they like love pervy shit yeah they are so, they just are <laughs> it seeps in <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't make super duper sumos and like just get away with that you know <laughs> and it's just like because it's aimed at kids you can get away with it because it's just like funny silly but is is that era like over now like the super duper sumo era yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah, it's like, because what is it like now? What's like a kid watching now? Like your Marvel shit, uh, like Fortnite ear movies, Fortnite. Fortnite. Shit. Yeah, it's Fortnite shit. Actually, but then there's a lot of sexualized yeah. shit in Fortnite. So. Mm. No, it's the same thing. No, Fortnite is extremely like sexualized. Yeah, surely that's if, like if, the new equivalent thing. It's yeah, like, no, that is surely if is. anything, like shit's gonna be way more sexualized now than ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it is. Fired up. Do you remember? Uh, it's through a different lens now, though. Yeah. Like, is is like a weird, oversexualized Fortnite skin the same as a Super Duper Sumo? Uh... No, Super Duper Sumo has layers to it. It's like it's 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 hiding fetishism behind like a yeah yeah curtain, you know. <laughs> While yeah. Fortnite isn't, it's just like oh, this skin's go out. Oh, let's go on porn up, search this skin and get <laughs> basically porn with it. It's like it's different. I just want to show you a bit of it, Jim, just to remind you. Oh my Put god, Duper Sumo. It's <laughs> just so you can see how sexual this stuff is. Go go on YouTube, search up Super Dupe Sumo's intro for those curious. Just we're not we're not like exaggerating here. Like just how ridiculous this this and this is what we were watching when we were like little kids. <laughs> I do remember this. <laughs> did, did you watch it? I, I They got guts. <laughs> they got guts and big butts. Like that's the lyrics of the intro. Yeah, that's a, that's <laughs> they got that's, butts. <laughs> James is getting a bit rigid right now. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, so many things fat. are starting they, to make he sense. He just said fat. Yeah, P-H-A-T. That, yeah. Yeah, it's actually really weird. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, watch the whole intro now. 
They got butts. They got guts and butts. No, yeah, no, that is. When you, you when you, you're referring to an ass as fat, that way. P H A T. That that is just now. There's no there's no argument against it. Has that th- was was super duper sumo is the thing that started the like ass movement? <gasps> because <laughs> it's it, what Kim Kardashian watched and was like, nice, <laughs> yeah. like bring this. In. No, that is a weird thing there because like in the nineties through early two thousands, it was all about like. Like Paris Hilton. Yeah. Just like build. skinny as fuck. And I noticed it in Seinfeld that I've been watching. Mm. They don't ask like boobs or butt. They say boobs or legs in that really? show. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Boobs or legs? Yeah. yeah. So the, the ass, the ass, they didn't discover the ass yet. They were just, it, yeah. It was, it was raining. And then Super Duper Sumos comes out and suddenly everyone's like, wait a minute, <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Yeah, we've been, there's, we've there's... been slacking on something. <laughs> yeah, we've been missing out on this, this gold mine. <laughs> and That's since stupid, then, the, the world has been dominated by ass. There is some yeah. logic, though, to the boobs butt thing. I don't see <clears> the logic for um, boobs legs. I mean, it's like a similar area, but no, I agree. It's like... No, because the boobs is like two cheeks. There's, yeah, there's that it's joke like... in, um, <laughs> in in the office where like the he, he he's like flirting with a girl and he says the reason men oh, are yeah. attracted to cleavage is because it looks like an ass. But back then oh, that's, that's how... A... <laughs> like, Such like an awkward bit in that show. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, in the so ass era, and that's fancy. we're in the ass era. Yeah, and, yeah. To be honest, um, I'm way happier to be a part of the ass era than the whatever that the, Seinfeld shit is on about. The legs era, the legs era. Yeah, the Paris Hilton era. Yeah, that was a bleak era. Did you know Paris Hilton makes music? She's she's done it all, bro. No, but she still well. is. Really? She released a song in 2021. Have you had a listen? How is it? Uh, Does this star Drake? No. Does it go like this? this? Super duper sumo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, she's anti super duper sumo. Super duper sumo's was her downfall. Ah. Uh, mm. It's what took down Paris Hilton. Yeah. Kim Kardashian. Actual nemesis. <laughs> I think, wasn't Kim Kardashian like friends with Paris Hilton? Yeah, yeah. That's how she went. She worked yeah. for her, didn't she? Yeah, that was like the, the beginning. Yeah. It is all linked. What is going on? Um, Do you think know. Kanye's fucked Paris Hilton? <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah, he has. It's, it's, <laughs> you have to just assume that he has. So, um, to wrap up this section, then we we kind of talked about like these algorithms and Instagram and these these Facebook products really and this has really been the discussion of the week hmm. Facebook what Zuck what Zuck oh boy meta is <laughs> he's getting meta with it <laughs> yeah yeah have you seen the video it's like no I saw it was just a chain it was just like it, Zuckerberg sounds like a, a Japanese Nintendo developer being yeah. dubbed in English. Yeah, I did see that. I was just like, what? The yeah, f- it does look like a Nintendo Direct. Like this dubbed. <laughs> yeah. It's really bizarre. It's, it's really dubbed. weird. It is, it lo- no, it, it is dubbed. It looks dubbed. It's, yeah. it's so strange. Like every time, like this, like he he releases anything out there, so much just weird stuff comes with it. Like that, what's that sauce he's like obsessed with? A barbecue sauce. He's obsessed with barbecue. I, f- I found this video Bro, on YouTube is- of him, like, he's like, oh, I don't know, he must have been live streaming some weird thing, like at a barbecue. And he keeps mentioning this, this sauce. Um, I kind of, it's got a funny name. Um, I never buy it and I, I don't care about barbecue sauce, so I can't uh, remember. Fuck, what is the name of it? It's going to really anger me. But he, in the background, like, of, you can his, see it in, in, in his, his living book. Room. Yeah, he says there's, there's a, a bottle of sauce on the, the yeah. bookshelf. Wow, what's it called? Like, Jerry. <laughs> the fuck is- I didn't know about this blimmin' like barbecue sauce law to Mark Zuckerberg, so I'm like really. It's confused. a very, it, it's a very famous. It's called bar- like hot, hot baby rays or something. Yeah, baby baby rays. That sounds right. It's baby something. Baby rays barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Baby rays. Sweet baby rays. Sweet baby rays. Yeah, because I saw this video of him on YouTube like. 
someone had made a cut of um he must have yeah done a live stream eating this barbecue and he keeps mentioning sweet baby rose and someone like made a super cut of how many times he says it and he's like yeah add more or a sweet baby rose <laughs> he's like <laughs> obsessed with it <laughs> and then was it's, that an advertisement though um i guess it's possible but at the same time like why is it there in the background on the top on the top shelf too like if he was eating some it's some baby rays in that living he, room i think it's an easter egg but why would he put it on the top shelf if he was like eating something no it's there? an easter egg it's just so he can be funny i think it's just an easter yeah egg. i was gonna bring that up too do you think his level of meme like he's aware of it and isn't just embracing it because it's part of the marketing yeah <sighs> i hadn't even considered i think he is but he makes like an actual ass of himself. Everyone, he's a joke. Mm -hmm. He's a robot. He's a straight up robot. <laughs> what do you think of the name Meta? I'm still a bit confused as to like what it actually means. Um, not the word Meta, but like what this, what he's doing. <laughs> he's he's taking Facebook to be our lives. From what I understand, and I I only found out about this today. Because oh, really? someone told me, like, D did you hear about Facebook? And I was like, what? But it, from what I understand, they're they're trying to make Meta like the the thing, the, the, the metaverse. I think is what he specifically refers to it as, as opposed to it being Facebook that owns Instagram, WhatsApp. And oh, that. okay. It all comes under Meta instead of Facebook. Oh. Maybe because Facebook, like everyone hates Facebook. Facebook is yeah. trash. Right? The optics for Facebook are at an all-time low. Yeah, they're terrible. But you just make it meta. So when you go on WhatsApp and like, there's the little Facebook thing, it'll be meta instead. You don't think about Brought it. Brought to you by meta. Yeah. It could just be that. Hmm. Hmm. Man. I do enjoy it, though, every time. Uh... Any any time he's, he shows up, it's just I, like, I, what like, are you going to get? It's hard to know yeah. that he's real. That he's actually a, 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 a person. Well, I watched an interview from, like, the earlier 2000s, or mid-2000s, where um, the Facebook was still called The Facebook, and he was, like, mm. being interviewed and stuff, and he was obviously a lot younger. And the way he presented himself wasn't as robotic as it is now. So maybe, like, when he made Facebook, he's been, like, algorithmed himself, and now he's, like... He's been engulfed into it, and he's become the algorithm. Yeah, what if he is the algorithm? <laughs> he's just the living algorithm. Yeah. He's like the supercomputer that carries <laughs> on the, face, the heart of Facebook or whatever, the brain of Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the core server for Facebook is Mark Zuckerberg's <laughs> mind. <laughs> yeah. Um. And that would explain why there's so many outages for Instagram and Facebook and whatnot. Every time he gets that barbecue sauce, it just fucking cracks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, the yeah, sweet baby Ray's interfering. <laughs> See you after these meta messages. What about Halo? Yeah, you want to talk about Halo? No, don't. For after these messages. So Halo is a... <laughs> Life can be a dick sometimes. So get your dick from out your hand. And don't be a dick. Wear a dick. Dick the Head t-shirts available now. Check the description below. Because I, I, I have a really cringy memory of assembly of, um... <laughs> fucking... One of the, like, head teachers playing, um... Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> do, you, do you remember this? <laughs> um, they played, uh... Oh, how does it go? The, I'm a B, I'm a B. No, no, not I'm a B. Um, the one that's about, like, healing the world or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of a messed up song, though. But how does it go? What, you gotta remind me, you gotta get the brain going. <sighs> There's no way. There's no way. Drop <coughs> in the <coughs> ocean. Drop of James's dad. Uh, where is the love? That's the one. Where is the love? The love. <laughs> yeah. What about... Uh... Shut up, just shut up, shut up. I remember shut we up, found that, up, that song up. really funny because they said shit in it. And we yeah. Were like, hey. Finally a song that says shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they went there. 
the Black Eyed Peas have got <laughs> respect now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Thanks, Fergie. I got a feeling. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked this song <laughs> isn't in a Madagascar movie. Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just kind of assumed it was. I got five feelings. <laughs> just shut up, shut up, shut it up. Just shut up, shut up. Oh shit, Fergie going in. Have you um seen that video of her singing the national anthem? <laughs> no, <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> Nah. Uh, James's dad is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Black Eyed Peas, James? I used to love them. Who Everyone did? did. Put on the emotional one. Yeah, I am. No. People epicking, people dying. It's only James's tricks. dad is living. Welcome to the second half of the Jarcast, where we head over to the Jar Media subreddit and go to the suggestion thread and answer questions. Any questions, any single one um, that we, you know. Not just any. All. Yeah, I suppose I spoke too soon. Not any. All. All. Not all. Every. Every. But before we do that, <laughs> did you actually want to? Did you want to? James, did you watch the... Uh Halo gameplay campaign. No. Okay. No, that's not then. Fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> Did James watch something related to Halo? Well, we can't tease and not say it, I feel like. It's too hey, far. It's that too was far. this. That okay, was this yeah, no, we don't have Halo. to spend long on it. Um, Halo trailer? Halo. Shut up. A few, a few Halo things have happened since. Because I've played Big Team now. I never mentioned that on the cast. Really? Yeah, because it was all within the flu stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I, I I, got good impressions from that Big Team thing. I like the gameplay of it. I like the vehicle combat. and <laughs> It's got way more potential, that Big Team side. And it's what we were saying yeah. before. Like, that's clearly maybe going to be the heart. Because I don't really care about the arena yeah, and all the stuff as much in this I, game. But. I think it should have been. Mm -hmm. they, they've made the, the correct decision there. The map was really good as well. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it feels like classic Halo. Mm -hmm. But not, you know? But what? Yeah, it's in the best like... way. Um, yeah, I, I played literally one game. Mm -hmm. And then the servers Yeah, then they went down. down. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was really impressed. I well, thought it was awesome. One of our biggest complaints has been what was going on with this campaign. Like, what actually yep. is happening with it? And they kind of randomly, like, on a Sunday, like, just dropped this, like, trailer. Mm -hmm. Like, a campaign trailer. Um, I'm still pretty concerned, to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's going to be formless. I think it's going to have no strong drive to it. I think it's going to be Here's my very... prediction. Okay, go on. I have basically zero faith in the storytelling abilities mm -hmm. um I, I know it sounds harsh but like i, I really do, i don't understand what the god of war one shot thing has to like how that gels with yeah. halo like what what that means what that's about why that needs to be there of course we need, still need to play it and see how it all fits in but at the same time they're talking about this like open world structure and having these like Far Cry esque like bases to clear and stuff yeah. like that, and to be honest, it, that structure doesn't bother me in essence too much in terms of a Halo game where you know you're like using the sandbox to clear bases. It's more it's more interesting than Far Cry to me because what actually happens in Far Cry is like enemies are pretty boring. The actual like way the combat plays out, you just have less options than in that Halo sandbox with like all the different yeah. abilities, the vehicles. Yeah, the... It, Halo has always had like one of the most yeah. dynamic Yeah, so I could imagine sandboxes. a play space and a map where you could have some fun gameplay go down and a lot of freedom and it's extra weird that there's no co-op because I feel like that's where that kind of gameplay can shine. Yeah. It's like, how are we going to take yeah. this base down? How are we going to... But I also think that's exactly why it doesn't have co-op. Because if the map is big 
how are they going to have mm -hmm. like one guy on one side of the map and one and like all the other. upgrades and stuff like if someone joins in and they're like barely upgraded compared because yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. a skill tree now and all this kind of concerning stuff that seems odd for halo and I, when this like going back to like the storytelling side of it like they showed off these like new this new enemy thing that's flying around like going oh, the f everything you knew about the forerunners was uh actual shit or whatever we're the new one and i'm just a bit like do we have to go back to that again like i couldn't work out if they were a banished thing or not really i i saw it more as like a this is a, a race we haven't seen before like a new mm. like in the banished like yeah, that fly could be, around like, yeah yeah well i mean it could be like they never had drones in four and five this could just be an equivalent. But they showed those little dibbies holding, like, the stun gun. Surely those are, like, the drone equivalent. Yeah, that's what I mean, right? No, there's, like, another creature that shows up. This weird, like, flying thing that has dialogue that is and, like, punches Chi through a portal and then it goes like... <laughs> Do you not remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> but from what I saw from the gameplay, it looks good. Mm -hmm. And that we that we know, the gameplay is good. Yeah, the environments look cool. I like. Yeah, yeah, it, like it look graphically, it looks great. I get game yeah. feel. We know is good. My worry is that like that there's not going to be that like Halo Three moment where it's like this level is great. Yeah, I, I actually am so intrigued by the structure of it, and yeah, is it going to have missions? Like, it, yeah, exactly. And it's a it's actually a huge concern for me is the. Like the biomes, people have been bringing this up. Like, mm. what is like the whole thing? Just the, if it is just one big map and it's all this Midwest, like, you know, yeah, like grassy. Wood, woodlands and mm -hmm. where, where's the snow? Where's the deserts? Where's that variety? And how are they going to stretch? Like, how long is it? How are they going to stretch this out? I feel like I still have so many questions in a way that is not like got me confident. Yeah, because there's like it's like a different thing, isn't it? Where it's like being purposefully vague because they're so confident that like yeah you mm -hmm. you'll love it when you see it, as opposed to like <laughs> just the questions that are coming up here for me. Where it's like if this falls flat in terms of the structure and like why is there no co-op and why do we not have like traditional levels maybe in the same way? Then I just come back to the conclusion of. Why are you tinkering with the thing? Why you, why can you not just make the thing? Like, yeah. What's wrong with just like a campaign? Yeah, what's like wrong if, with that? if you're making a Halo game, surely it should be a Halo game. No, but not that's, that's the thing where you're not liking change. Halo, Halo, no, but, but there, no, there's Halo change. Did, tried to do what you said and we got two shit games out of it. The Halo thing that you want to no, do the Halo not, thing they, was no, shit. No, because they didn't do that because they... They, they changed made it the core of the game twice. Yeah, yeah. You, I just think there's no point even talking about that and this whole like what they could do and whatever. It's like they're doing this thing. It's just we need to see how they do with this thing. Because once again, you're saying we don't know, so let's just <clears throat> don't, don't know. We don't know till it's out. So you can question it as much as you want, but it's like we're not. But it's gonna it's know. like trying to break down what they're saying. Yeah, and it's like well, super confusing. It feels like from this trailer, it it's they're saying like, don't expect Halo. Mm -hmm. Expect like it. I, I'm sure it will be fun, and it. I guess in a way, this this reveal is like tempering my expectations in a good way, mm. because it's saying, don't don't expect this. Expect something more more Ubisofty. <laughs> Well, it's like, yeah, what, it's like... Which expect, is disappointing. In, expect in either, like, a Nubisofty thing or, I guess, a Destiny kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm getting... focus on how they describe it, because they're like, this is ten years now of, like, the new platform for Halo. This is what it is now. This is what we're doing. Yeah, but also that shit never works out. Yeah. When they say that, it's yeah. just not Even with true. Destiny, which, like, started that thing, that they mm -hmm. haven't stuck to their plan even remotely. No. Yeah, and it was also kind of a weirdly edited trailer from memory. Um, yeah, that that was the biggest, like, 
question mark. It felt sort of rushed. And when, oh, a, the, yeah. when a trailer for a, like a, a delayed, highly anticipated game comes out and it, it looks rushed, it makes you wonder like how the actual game is going to be. Yeah. No, it's like coming out in like less than a month. Mm. Yeah, the music in particular enough. just like fell off. I didn't mm-hmm. know quite how to explain it. It, it. Like the punchy moments didn't feel punchy enough and... Yeah, I, d- I don't know how to explain it other than saying it was off. Again, I think I'm in the minority. People are like loving it or whatever. Mm-hmm. But... I don't trust them. Yeah, I think I've got more... F- I, I've got faith that I will have fun with this. Actually, there was one detail that I heard that made me a m- much more confident in what might come together. Because mm. apparently a uh, coalition has been h- helping them build the game. Ever since they finished... Well, not ever since they finished, but at a certain point. Yeah, yeah. They hopped on to help complete <laughs> Halo Infinite. Coalition, uh, I think, in general, are better... Yeah, um, I with think their design than yeah. um, than three four three have been way more consistent. Um, so you know, there were these rumors of them like rebooting everything like a year ago and like trying to fucking shamble something together. I could imagine maybe no. It would, from a business point of view, if you failed two times, but you fa- you've succeeded two times with another company, you don't give the you don't give the project to a company that fails. No, you, but you you put Coalition, who's done it twice who's rebooted a franchise twice of two successful games, you get them to do the work. So it's I more think complicated, though. No, no, from, a biz- from a straight business standpoint, if the game started, like we started development a year ago, that's because Coalition got involved. Well, from a business standpoint, this thing has just been screwed up from the get-go in terms of how much they if, spent if, it. if it wasn't screwed up, Coalition wouldn't be involved. Coalition are damaging yeah, right. control of that game. So the final but they might pro- make it better though in the long run. Like yeah, it. no, I think the final product is more going to be it will say more about Coalition than it will the actual Halo team. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not down on it or anything. I'm I I am looking forward to it. I'm gonna be totally real. I'm still a bit down on it. In my heart, yeah, hearts, I get you. it's like it's not. It's a different thing now. Yeah. Yeah, the the direction f- to begin with was wrong, <laughs> and everything we've heard about like the following the Ubisoft trends wrong. The, yeah, that's not how you make a Halo game. But but the dialogue and stuff as well. I'm a little bit like yeah, all, all that mm. lame stuff. But it, I think it will be fun to have a Halo game. I can just play. Yeah, I guess and, I like, kind of get. Out. I focus on like. Because I watch like a bunch of like Halo YouTubers like videos and the things they're saying, and honest, honestly, the bar is like so low. Yeah, it is so low that it's like the fact that Master Chief looks like Master Chief is actually something that's brought up as like a positive. Fuck you know, yeah. that's like the level we're at with it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, but yeah, we're 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 covering ground we've covered a few times already here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Halo. I think. How we just need to stop talking about Halo until, until like the weekend after Halo launch. Well, it's impossible now. I don't like, think it is. We just have to ignore it because it's like if you, I think. No, I'm ha- saying it's like I don't think there's anything that can even be talked about before it's out now. Mm. But it's mm. like you, you just got to go in and experience it. You just got to see how what the actual product is that you're getting instead of just like saying, oh, what what could happen and what might happen. You know. Yeah, we'll see. So like you just got to go in completely blind and I think I think you probably would have had a better experience of Halo at the end point if you never ever read up anything about it what Halo Infinite? yeah if you never played any of the betas or anything I think you'd probably have a better time when it does come out I don't know because nah. Halo has the name Halo mm-hmm. so there's always an expectation I disagree the name Call of Duty has an expectation to it, but there's been so many shit it, ones that there isn't. And um, I get the feeling of Halo that the fact that there's been s- the recent Halo, Halos, Halos have been shit were totally different. Not really, but it's also uh, Microsoft's main. It's their most valuable IP. Yeah, by far. 
it's their th- it's the face of their company mm-hmm. i guess that's what is so strange to me just how it's all been handled right let's do a couple questions here summer daisies has one did you boys end up checking out any of the movies sent to the p.o box do you intend to talk about them in videos um yes yeah that's always been the plan we literally um, yeah, so down. far behind it's actually ridiculous now we've got we've got the 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 setup to do those videos because we've had a successful video with that setup the Hades video we just haven't been able to because it's like Alex is ill James is ill Jamie's ill James can't do anything we've just been so, fucking uh, yeah and all that up. overlap alone was basically a month just gone yeah just fucked yeah yeah it's like so we've 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 still got videos to edit that have just we've we just struggled to get the time to do we're so far behind that we have videos to edit from when like the set looked totally different basically because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's just it's been it's because it's it's some some of the videos we have are like pre you getting covid because mm-hmm. you're fu- you getting COVID, fuck those editing that video. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got yeah. back, and it was like, okay, then other shit was going on. And then it's like, yeah, I didn't even think about that. We, time. we literally started to, we 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 were all here to record extra videos on one of the weeks, and then we all got fucking ill. Yeah. So it's like that didn't happen because we all got ill. So God. it's like it's so weird you say that because um, like in my head it is ever since getting COVID for that. Second time, it's just like a blur in my head. Yeah, it's been now. It's here. been a fucking mess. It but feels was, like months ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've, I've I had that cold like last. That month. was back in summer. You had mm-hmm. COVID. Yeah. It's fucking winter. It gets dark at five o'clock now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like it. Don't like it, it. It doesn't get dark at five, for the record. Um, it James's g- it, estimation it gets, of time. It gets so. it gets dark at six. Clocks go back tonight. Wait, what? The mm-hmm. clocks go no, back no, tonight. No, 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 yes. no. I'm not ready for this. No, 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 no. Five o'clock. It's, it's no, 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 getting no, no, dark. No, 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 it's already no, no, done. No. It's finished. It's here. Yeah. No, fucking calling out me for my time, you fucking <laughs> dumb bitch. <laughs> no, I've never known when. It it doesn't matter when the clocks change anymore because it used to be like, all right, go to your analog clock and um. Get the crank and <laughs> sort it out. I, but now, think, now it just changes. You wake up one morning and it's like, why the fuck do I feel this terrible? And it's like, <laughs> well, the, the it's terrible or good because you've either had an hour more or less, right? We've, we've yeah. got an hour more. Okay. We get an hour more. We well, yeah, the clocks hey. go back, so we get uh, so it goes to twelve, and it goes, it gets to one, then it goes to twelve again. So you've slept an hour and it's gone back. <laughs> this is how it works. No, but the tonight. Thi- yes. Woo. <laughs> the the thing is, it's like whenever the 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 clocks shouldn't fucking change, they shouldn't. What about the farmers? Fucking farmers can fuck off. I don't give a shit about them. James, just, we live in Wiltshire. No, <laughs> the, the, no. The oh I, God, the I farmer care about fan the farmers. base is gonna come for us. <laughs> <laughs> the farmer fan base. <laughs> but it's like. Every time there's been like a clock change, I do all my analog clocks like in your car or on the oh, wall. Oh my car! Fuck! <laughs> I never change, so I'll go like uh, I don't know how long. Like doing maths, whenever I see the clocks, it's like oh, it's actually an hour less or an hour that's more. That's not maths. That's just one. <laughs> it's maths, bro. Way. But yeah, a broken clock is correct twice a day. No, that's not true. If a, if a clock is. is broken where it has like a... Not if it's a 24-hour clock, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, then it's only right once a day. No, it's no right but, twice but what a day. <laughs> what? 24-hour clock. No, a 24... If like... A 24... Uh, if it says 1600, it's only 1600 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. once a day, you fucking knobhead. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> the um, other way around. But... Fucking knobhead. No, well, no, if a clock is broken to where where it's like not... It doesn't stop. I guess that's the what you're meant to say. No, it is a broken clock, isn't it? Well, it's broken. The clock is correct two times in one 24-hour period. That's right. No, but if if it's broken where it still moves, but in the wrong, well, you're just changing the whole thing. Time. <laughs> no, no, because that is still about? a broken <laughs> clock. If a clock, 
It's the clock. Yours. Alex, when you think of broken clocks, you think of <laughs> clock that moves going going way backwards. Backwards. No, what, no, I'm what saying if, if, if you have like a stop. watch that goes too fast, it's broken. Mm. No, right? In, in no, but then it's never right. <laughs> It's no, never is, fucking right. But that's it's a not saying. A, it's a saying based I know off it's the, a saying, but it's wrong. No, it's correct. No, like that, based off like, you know, granny clock. You know? If got a battery, stopped, no, but the if the granny up. clock is broken to where it like the cogs are you're just, oh, no, that's and not it's moving Jamie. too slow. And it maybe every every other one it it no, doesn't get, click. Put, uh, put fifty like granny clocks on this wall, right? No, that's let that's them, also wrong. Them all run that's out of also battery. wrong because if if the clock is ticking faster, no, I just said slower. If it's slower, then it will ca there will it will it will be the Not same. Not twice a day. We don't know that. We, we don't do know, know that. that. That's we don't know enough. Most, we don't know enough about the time vote. when it's written down. A, bro a, bro a broken clock is right twice a day. Asterisk. Unless it's going backwards or has all these other little I things. I never said going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> if the clock's going backwards, then it's not a fucking clock. <laughs> but you said like a b broken watch going backwards or something. No, if if it's going, oh, if it's going there's too fast, if there, it's running too fast, there's a term fast, for what you, you. There's there's something in a clock that breaks that create that is. That it's situation. possible for a watch t for its its interpretation of time. One second for it is. Is faster than a real second, or you're, slower. Bro, you're making that more complicated. The the so it's on techno temo whatever in the clock I, breaks. I said nothing like that. It, it it's moving faster, faster than time moves, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which means it will be it will be right <laughs> during the day. The day. Yeah, surely it might be that, right that, once, but not it might be right twice. Thrice. A broken clock, a broken watch going backwards is right thrice a day. Well, I mean, if it's going really fast, it's going to be right all the fucking time. It's going to be right like a hundred so times if, a day. So if the clock is, is 1.25 to 1, so the clock is 1, the clock is now going 1.25 fast. Yeah. It will be do, right, right twice a day. A clock going 1.25. No, I don't think it will. I think it will. Why? Because it's... it's 0.25 faster. No, but that means for every it, day it's doing 1.25. No, days. no, you, you think of it like this. That means so it's if a clock was ahead. double, if a clock was double the speed, it would be right four times a day. Two, two, one is two times a day, right? You double that speed four times a day. So if you make that, it's it's how many how many 2.5s in two in in one four. So, you get one, you get two. So, 1.25, you get fucking... <laughs> what the... Oh, I never mentioned what we're drinking. I'm drinking a Tiny Rebel $5 shake. I'm, I'm drinking um, plant-based uh, protein soy <laughs> out of a Cronenberg can. <laughs> what? I bought some uh, plant-based protein soy. You did? What do you mean? It's, 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 it's P PhD smart, raspberry flavour. I thought it was strawberry. A, dr a drink? Yes, it's protein powder. Yeah, it's a powder. You mix it with juice. You mix it with six. It's just like it's <laughs> yeah. You it's mix just, it with. It's just like the instant oats I have. Yeah, but actually for men. Baby <laughs> protein. Yeah. All right. We got this one here from uh, James underscore house. Two five five four seven five. How do you guys feel about essentially predicting the Eternals? And specifically, the character of Kingo becoming massive memes in internet film communities. <laughs> it, at this point, it's past another course. one for the board. Yeah, yeah, just <sighs> another one for the board. Par for the course. Par for the fucking eternal. <laughs> par for the fucking Kingo. Yeah, it, like it doesn't surprise me at this point. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's just like next. Oh, Dogecoin is fucking skyrocketing. Well, what a surprise. We said that like three years ago. Oh, GME on the stock market is blowing out of the fucking ocean. Oh, oh so James said you should invest in game like 30 years ago. What a surprise. Yeah. When you hit, when you hit so many times, they become less. Yeah. Like at this exciting. point, it, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. Yeah. Tell you what means a lot though is how expensive the Kingo minifigure is on Britlink. I had a look um, how much yesterday. Um, 
I don't know, I don't think the sets are out here yet or something, because it was like 15 quid alone, just for him. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, that's no, no, no. Plus 15 to have it sent from the US. Whoa. Okay, fuck that, 30, 30 quid. quid for a Kingo. Fuck that. Fuck that. A king guy? Alright, I'm the Kingo around here. It's just not good enough. It's just not Just king wait guy. for the pop vinyl. Right. Let's do this one. Okay. From, uh, tighter than bark on. Listen to the podcast from a couple weeks ago. I remembered a comment Alex made on aquariums. To me, even though some animals are not meant to be kept in tanks slash cages, I think aquariums have importance to humans, as we don't really acknowledge the incredible life that lives in our oceans and fresh water. As someone who lives in a landlocked state in the US, it's a great thing that I can receive the opportunity to see such magnificent creatures being so far away from an ocean. In fact, I have a couple of landlocked friends of mine who have gone on to become marine biologists due to aquariums sparking that interest for them. I also think that a lot of animals live longer, get better taken care of, and aquariums are re rehabilitation centers for a lot of animals that have been wounded in nature. Anyway, sorry for the long response, but my question is, do you think morally that a zoo is worse for an animal than an aquarium, or are they one in the same? It depends on the zoo and or the aquarium. It depends on the zookeepers. I guess I should clarify slightly what I meant when I was talking about this aquarium yeah. and the kind of thoughts I was having. Honestly, I was mostly bothered by the way other humans were behaving in the aquarium. Hmm. Signs everywhere are saying, don't tap, don't touch, don't fucking touch them. Just leave them alone. Everyone just touching them. Everyone's putting their hands in, fucking with them, banging on the glass. Drinking the water. <laughs> yeah, just getting in with them, just bathing with them. This is bullshit. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just something inherently distressing and sad about the imagery of this like beautiful animal just going dong, dong, up against the glass. Yeah, um, and... It just feels e exploitative. Both mm. both zoos and... Do you see this guy's point, though? What are you saying? Yeah. Mm. I, do under to, yeah. I do like it for, like, rehabilitation and for... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And there's definitely merit to it. It's just, I don't know. That it's, it's just something it, about once the animal becomes a certain size, so then their tank yeah. is just not <clears> relative <throat> to... But also just cages. Cages in general. Yeah. What do you think about the zoo? Is a zoo worse than an aquarium, or are they one and the same? I haven't been to a zoo in a very long time. Yeah, same. But I, I think it's impossible to say. Mm. I'm sure there are aquariums that are great for the animals, and there's aquariums that are terrible for them. Yeah. The same for yeah, zoos. Yeah, I guess it depends where it is. Yeah. What their uh, main motivation is to. Mm-hmm. Because there are, like, conservationist zoos and aquariums. That are yeah, out yeah. There. They, they are out there. And lots of people are passionate about taking care of animals like that and rehabilitating them and everything. Capitalism. But there's certainly a lot of horrors that come from some of these places, like uh, all that stuff from like SeaWorld and, yeah, yeah. and everything. That's like really dark, like some of the places that has gone in the past. Mm -hmm. You might mention the orcas and the whales and everything. Like yeah, this. yeah. That that documentary Blackfish is just like horrifying. Yeah, I've never had the balls to watch it. It's definitely worth it. The guy who did the uh, House of Cards soundtrack, did the music, so it's like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four, oh, this this guy's name is just a bunch of numbers, so I'm not going to say them all. I'll just say the first four. Four seven three three says Alex and Jim. Does your dad still say bye crikey? He never gets that angry anymore. By crikey was when he was really. Would he say it when he was actually angry or when? No, when, when he, he was like... genuinely like furious. How? Really? Yeah, because in my mind, <clears throat> I have it associated with us being like young whippersnappers, and it's like a by crikey. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, maybe that's I'm how I see it. That's, that's how I see it in my mind. How is it in your mind? You weren't there. No, that's <laughs> no, if I see that, if I hear by crikey, it's not a fucking no, I, bad I, thing. He has that's definitely it. used it, like, seriously. By crikey? Yeah, by we're, we're crikey. In, a, in a situation where it's like, he, I guess he thought I was too young to hear a swear word, so he was like, <laughs> by crikey. 
That, you know? that, that sounds too silly. It does sound silly, but it's the <laughs> fucking truth. I'm don't telling you, you. I don't. I you. I'd have to see in person. Well, that ship has sailed. He hasn't said "bye, crikey" in many a moon. Is that is that a New Zealand thing or an English thing? What is that? Crikey, crikey's quite English, isn't it? No, crikey's, crikey's quite Australian. Australian. That's what you associate with them. Um, yeah, you're right. The crocodile hunters. Steve but crikey Irwin. is a, a British thing as well. I suppose there's some overlap there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. James always says crikey. He drops crikey's left, right, and center. Crikey might have, out of every word in my vocabulary, like the lowest percentage use out of most words out there. Crikey. When was like when was the last time you heard me say crikey? A long time ago. I don't know if you ever used it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. <coughs> it's not one of my go-to, like, in a shocking moment. Oh, crikey. crikey! Crikey! You normally just say... Something to do with beans, probably. <laughs> what do you say in a shocking moment? you got to give me more to work with. Like, what's the scenario? You've just walked outside. Um, you've, you've a pigeon shat all over you. A pigeon shout all over me, that'd be a Well, What would you do then, James, if you're looking so uh <laughs> if I walked so out judgmental? My <laughs> James would just go, Oh <laughs> Yeah. <literally. laughs> you wouldn't say <coughs> Oh bloody Nora. Oh no. bloody Nora. No, um, my go-to is Christ in heaven. Yeah, you do Christ say that. alive. You say yeah, that Christ a lot. Yeah, Christ alive, that's a good one. Yeah, anything with the word Christ. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Blaspheming okay, just... nah. Envision this. Okay. You're playing Apex. Mm -hmm. You just picked up an R301, loads Ooh, of yeah. light ammo. Yep, yep. Oh, shit, there's a blue mag. Okay, whole squad right in front of you. Ooh. You say, James, I need some backup. He's like, James, nah. I need some backup. He's like, no, nah, I got to heal. I did have to heal. You're getting, you're getting bashed up, but you're still in it. James, if you come in right now, you could save me. You could win this game for us. He's like, nah. I'm over here. I found a purple mag. Well, it'd probably be like, well, we're gonna lose now. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't really the. Vi Kind of bombastic so, so reaction that, though. In that moment, you wouldn't say by crikey. <laughs> Genuinely, no. What came to my mind was just, we, we've lost this game, it's done. Yeah, would you so, say that? Would you verbalise it? Yeah, no, Alex well, does all the time. Get your phone what out what like, do I normally say? Do I, do I bring that level of gamer anger? I feel like I'm not really that tired. You're, no, you're, you're not a gamer anger. But I feel like out of the three of us, I am the most angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get angry. Um, you get really I angry. I would say you two are tied. Really? How? Because you both have equally, I would say, about like no, quick I, games and I, like... I get angry about um, my own performance. James gets angry about me. <laughs> true. And anything I'm true. saying or doing. <laughs> it's really true. It's like you pick a drop and I'm like, Jamie! <laughs> Fucking like losing. You're like, it. If Jim picks up a flatline, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna scream into the mic and just disappear. <laughs> that was an iconic day. I love that day. That was a good day. Cause you no, you did it purposely because you know it annoyed me. You knew I was gonna react <laughs> terribly. So you were just like, I didn't know it was gonna be that bad. James actually had like a an emotional moment because I I took his gun in a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to realize. Okay, so. <laughs> we, were, we were all playing Apex. We played like five matches, and they were all fucking shit. Mm -hmm. We were getting shit guns constantly, just getting shat on, just constantly. I was, I was, we were reaching the end. You know, when you've had a bad Apex session, it's like, 
can't fucking go on anymore. Mm. <laughs> so just like everything was happening. So we we dropped down in the fucking shittest position. I was part AFK, so I didn't get a gun early on. So I went into this room. I hit this loot loot robot, <laughs> and then I see a flatline on the floor. <laughs> then Jamie runs in his octane, just fucking picks it up and runs off. And I just I fucking no. ju- I went silent. I ran out the fucking no, building. You shouted Jamie no. first. I oh, know that's when I went out the building and started running off. And then I was just like. I was gonna run off and not talk, but then it was just like I couldn't do it, and I was just like, "Jamie!" Once James has had enough, he like goes into sabotage mode, where it's like it's time to just take us down. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm not having a good time, so neither can (laughs) you. (laughs) No, I don't do that ever. I didn't purposely. Now, when you go silent and uh, like Alex and I will just be talking like chill. (laughs) Just like trying to, trying to have fun, trying to keep up with James. Just bit. anyway, we've had incredible matches because of it. Okay, got the old win. Yeah, we we were like shit now, eh, folks. <laughs> the flu wound it for us. Yeah. I actually cannot believe the density of like ocean-related topics in this. It's like a, really? another weird coincidence. So it's like a the next gorilla thing. I suppose yeah. ocean things. Um, so let's end by doing a couple more ocean-related ones. Van der Toke one two three four five six says, Alex, in the the last episode mentioned being scared of the ocean. With that being said, have any of you guys played Subnautica? I didn't expect it to be scary at first, but being in an alien sea that goes down as far as the eye could see was actually pretty scary. That being said, I really recommend it. I, I really like that terminology that you used. Which one, sorry? Going down in the alien sea as far as the eye can see mm-hmm. the use of sea twice but different oh yeah we got another you bar for the... yeah that's a good bar that's a sick bar but uh yeah i tried it and it's too much i can't i actually think i'm there with you i, I can play horror games mm-hmm. i'm fine with horror games i can deal with it but it's not it's... even it's not even advertised as a horror game is it it's just no it's it's, it's a, a survival sea simulator <laughs> yeah whereas for me I, i've 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 watched plenty of footage on it, and like, I, th- I think it looks like a really cool game, actually. Yeah, I think so too. But it 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 it's like spine chilling. I I don't know how to describe it. Like, I can't. I actually can't deal with it. Mm. It's like so claustrophobic to me, and so yeah. The the ocean, it just water. It's that out of your element thing. Mm-hmm. It. it I don't understand the physics of existing in that. Maybe realm. it's a Phantom Menace deep cut thing where there's always a bigger fish. Yeah. That whole sequence has just ruined my yeah, life. Yeah, scarred us in a... In a <laughs> yeah, uh, scarred us. In a super <laughs> duper sumo sort of I way. don't think I'd have a problem <laughs> with that game. I, I think you would. I think you would freak the fuck out. No, I think I could... I could no, because it. It, it uses the um, distortion of... Um, water sound to its advantage. Does it have like, do the um, creatures have the scary underwater noises as well? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's the thing. Yeah, there's these things called like leviathans, there yeah. are these huge fish things that like... Do they go for you? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be like a level 5 leviathan and it's just like, fucks you up. Ooh. But at the same time, a small part of me like tingles like, oh, I kind of want to scare myself with this. Yeah, I kind of want to go into. But I can, I can do that shit with like Resident Evil Two. It's like, mm-hmm. ooh, scary zombie. Mm-hmm. But like when, it, like I'm, I'm on land in that. Nah. And you're in a zombie water game, stuff. and it's not realistic. While water stuff can be realistic. Well, I mean, it's like an alien planet. Water realistic. Do you consider yourself easy to scare by like games and stuff? By games, yes. Yeah. Um... There's. It, I don't know how to explain it, but it's this this limit on control that really freaks me out. Limit on control? What's like an example? Yeah, like in reality, you've got like oh, full right, motion yeah. in a video game. Oh, so you're game. talking like the kind of heavy way your character moves in Resident Evil adds to the yeah, totally. tension of it, yeah. And like in, um, what's that, Outlast, mm-hmm. whenever you have to open a door... Or vault over something when you're running away from someone like that. <coughs> that that moment where you have no agency whatsoever, 
It just like it, I can't handle mm. that shit. Yeah, I'm trying to think like what scared me the most. I, I was quite fearful of my first playthrough of Resident Evil 2. It's always that first playthrough when you don't know what's coming necessarily. Yeah. Where it gets you away. Yeah, and it, it plays on your mind the way you, you start doubting if you're going to be able to make it from, like, here to there. And what was that, um, like, top-down game you played that you said freaked you the F out? Tortured. Yeah. Tortured, is that it? Uh, Darkwood. That one. Yeah, the best horror game I've ever played. Really? And I keep meaning to play, like, all the way through. Start it again, mm -hmm. go all the way through it. But, like, it's that, that doubt thing. Like, this shit is too scary. <laughs> you have to be in the right mood. For like a, yeah, definitely. a horror experience. Like if you're in a bad frame of mind or something already, I don't know if it's the right <laughs> the no. right one to jump into. I don't know. But then being scared and like the fear thing can I don't know. It's a fun ad adrenaline rush, mm -hmm. for sure. Cause there is something like addictive about it as well. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. But Darkwood does shit on a, a level like I've never seen replicated in anything. Yeah, I'm very intrigued. Um, let's do this one from Bibbol Bubby. Hey guys, a few casts ago you had an argument about who would win, swordfish or narwhal. As a marine biologist, I believe that the swordfish would win because of the fact that the narwhal's sword is actually a sensory organ, very sensitive and not used to cut through ice or fight, as thought in the past. I'd say that kind of conclusively actually answers it, to be, to be honest. Yep. Yeah, what did we say? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you said if you're narwhal. asking about something that was said like more than one episode ago, forget that. It's gone. Was yeah. it, no, yeah, was it more than one episode ago? Yes, it was like four episodes ago. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You it weren't was. here. So it was either last episode no, or the episode. No, I was before. here on the narwhal one. No, you weren't. I explained that they fucking don't. They slice with them like a sword. No, they. No. I think James was here. Yeah, I was here. I was searching it because I was sat in that fucking seat. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <sighs> Though. Wait, why, why are we talking about ocean creatures so much? I thought that was like a me and Alex thing. I don't know why you are. What do you mean you? Now you're saying that you weren't. No, your ocean creatures episode was when I wasn't here. No, but ocean cre narwhal comes under that ocean creatures. That was before your ocean creature phase. <laughs> Let's end on this one. From RB994. Good afternoon, FroobTubes. First time commenter here. The conversation regarding people's voices during the biggest body annoyances segment in cast 246 reminded me of my initial experience of Jar. <clears throat> I could not tell Alex and Jamie's voices apart. For context, I started, li I started listening in May of this year, but after a few eps jumped back to the start, my journey with the normal episode after hearing about it on one of the casts. <laughs> Honestly, never laughed so much listening to a podcast. I primarily consumed Jar at the time through Spotify, so no visual aid to see the members and would be listening to cast for hours on end after I found myself with an abundance of free time after uni finished up. As with any podcast, it takes time to discern between the different members' voices, but because I often had the cast on in the background, it took a solid month or so before my realisation. It honestly came as such a massive shock, just my brain clicking on the fact that Alex wasn't replying twice to something James had said, but in fact it was Alex and Jamie. Please don't beat me up, beast. Now I realise that Alex and Jamie's voices are really quite different, in fact, and distinct. But I think the reason why I found it difficult to tell your voices apart was due to the manner in which you both speak, being incredibly similar due to the shared upbringing. I find that both of you have similar cadences with your speech and utilise the same vocabulary for the most part. Do you guys think you sound alike? Game on. <coughs> I think we sound alike. We 100% sound alike. You don't sound alike. I think that's nonsense to say we we don't have any likeness. No, you have a likeness in literally what they just said. In cadence, vocabulary and sound being everything. No, you've got a different tone. How would you, de how would, Alex, how would you describe the difference in our voices? <laughs> Alex, how would you describe the differences in our voices? In, in my mind... That's terrible <laughs> 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 In my mind... Yeah, like, Alex is so much more high-pitched. He's more gentle and really? soft. Where and Jamie's I like... Buff and tumble. No, in really? my in, in my, my head, mind, that's inversed. No, yeah, in, I no, agree. straight up. Alex, you have Jim's a very soft, a bit softer. No, you have a soft voice. 
Yours is very gentle on the ears. What are you talking about, his James? Is, his isn't. But what do you mean by that? You need to elaborate by what you mean. You're soft. Yes, elaborate by what do you mean. Uh, Jamie... <laughs> Jamie can be deeper. His, his, his tone's slightly a little bit deeper. So speak. Say, okay, say... Alex, say something. Give us a sen- We can say the same sentence. Oh, fuck me. I don't know a sentence to say. Uh, the Eternals is the best movie of 2021. The Eternals is the best movie of 2021. Yeah, that's much deeper. Um, I'm not deeper. You see, th- this is he the has thing. This weird is this like an enunciation thing? He, no, he has this weird idea that he's really high-pitched. I don't think I'm high-pitched, but he's I think... He's not really high-pitched. You're, you're high-pitched. <laughs> now point? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I d- <laughs> No, no. Gen- the way I tell the difference is that you, in my, you are softer, and Jamie's a little bit rougher. That's just that's just that's how I can ex- describe it. Like I, you, you could do ASMR. I don't think Jamie could. But that that line, I guess the choice of words has me confused there. Then you're gentle. Uh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> that's just that's how I I hear you that way. I I think the difference between you and me comes to very slight um like accent differences. No. I think I think you're posher than me. Mm. No, yeah, no, yeah. I think that's this what I'm saying about enunciation. I make a obnoxious effort to like. I make an obnoxious effort. Yeah, see? There we go. That's the difference. <laughs> That's the difference, where you, you would not do that. But the th- Say the word obnoxious. Obnoxious. Ob- obnoxious. Yeah, like that's a good example. Say obnoxious. Obnoxious. <laughs> the, the thing is, when you're talking to different people, you change your voice. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah. me talking to just James is different to me talking to you. When, and James. when we when we two when we are talking and together, we we use a lot more word man slang. Yeah, I'm I'm way more like slangy. Yeah, and when I talk to just Alex and you're not there, I I tend to like lean to a more like posh mm. sort of area. Yeah. So when I'm with both of you, it's like this weird in between, a, a middle. A middling, uh, you know. But Alex, <laughs> Alex literally can't use any slang, like Roadman slang. You never slang ever. Yeah, because you. Literally that's interesting. You to. say that because I don't do that. <laughs> do what? You never change your. No, I, I definitely do change, at least subconsciously. Yeah, everyone does, depending on who yeah. they're around. But I don't. I I don't know what I would do. If I was talking to James alone compared to talking to you alone, I feel like it's basically mm. the same. Yeah, no, but, but no, it is the same. Yeah, that's but what I, mean, I mean, it it is a subconscious thing to me, but it's just like a mm. James is a road man, you're a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. maybe that's what James means by the gentle thing. Yeah, you're a gentleman. Yeah, literally gentle, <laughs> or just gentle, like... Yeah. yeah you're, so you're like a posh guy, a civilised guy. James is the... It's, it's like... It, it's a spectrum. This this very video that people are watching at this very moment is a spectrum going from road straight to... <laughs> but how am I posh, though? Well, listen to yourself. <laughs> so it's all in the voice? Well, it's in just the way you speak. I think speaking is a big part of, like, you, you know? Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I just, in my mind, like, my whole motivation is, like, I just, I want to be able to speak in the most succinct, clear way. Yeah. So people just understand me. No, that's, that. I, I, I sort of agree there. And when I'm talking to, like, strangers and stuff, I try to be really clear. Mm. Like succinct and whatnot but you and i are cursed with just the the most drown outable voices of them it's all. actually so bad yeah it's, it's 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 the most frustrating thing oh it's so bad like if you're in any anywhere where there's 
just a slight amount of conversation going on. A, a, mm -hmm. a medium oh, yeah. level busy pub. Oh my god, yeah. I've, I, I've, I've just been really confused by what you're on about, but now it's like... Yeah. Go to anywhere that's busy of these two, and it's just like... You what? What? You oh god! Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just impossible. Yeah, it's really bad. It's super frustrating, but the, the worst part is, is that it doesn't even have to be like a busy place. No. True, yeah. It can just be like a car drives by. Any Outside. type of any <laughs> type of house noise. And a car drives by and you're saying something. It's like, so maybe that's what? where it comes from for me. Is just this like I just want to be understood <laughs> through the noise. <laughs> you see what what both of us should have done is, is we should just be shouty people. Yeah. You are can be like that though. With me, you are. No, but th there's like there's a Anyone shouty stressing out. There's a shouty person, right? That's definitely like a type of person yeah. that like projects like everything they say. And yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. not hear them. Mm -hmm. Neither of us are that way. Neither or none. Like, you, you mean James? Well, I was talking about us because of our voice thing being drowned. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why we're both like quiet people. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Yeah, but, no. Going back to the original question, yes, we have incredibly similar voices. They don't. Yeah. No, we've even fooled our own mother with it. Like... No, you haven't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Haven't. No, it's the funniest yeah. thing. Like, if... If, if my mum calls me, I'd be like, Alex, just answer it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he'd answer it and just start talking to it. And she'd yeah, have she no tweet. idea. No, surely she would. And call. vice versa. No, the whole phone call, then end the phone call. And she doesn't yeah. know. No idea. That's that's not true. There's no way no, your mum does true. not recognise your voice. No, and like up. we, if, I reckon we could walk into our parents' house. Um, and like, if you were acting as me, say mm -hmm. hi. Yeah. From like behind a door, it would be. If like, they just heard, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They would hi, know. Jim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'd have no idea. No, that's 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 not true. I. I, s I refuse to believe your parents can't tell the difference. Because they... Okay, yeah. No, but it's, it's, it's different when... Like, if, if... If I were to say, close your eyes... Okay, I'm closing my eyes. And then we went outside that door and said... Mm. Something, and you had to guess which was which. Yeah, because yeah, you're already in a situation where you know... Yeah, you're trying to figure it out. Then mm. it makes it easier. But if, if Alex just acts as if he's me... In a situation where you think it's Jim, where it's supposed to be Jim, I'd be able to tell the difference from instantly. We're gonna find this. We're gonna figure it out. Yeah, we gotta. Ha we have to now. Yeah. It's interesting though. I find I find this topic in particular interesting. Yeah. Maybe um, maybe we uh. <clears throat> we need to start exaggerating one one of us needs to decide like to distinguish our voices more for the yogs like, should I bring it down like a level what's up guys that's not pretty that's bringing it up yeah that's going Sorry, up yeah you're right <laughs> bring it up a level what's up guys I'm Alex here <laughs> but your whole accent and everything is changing <laughs> should I just do the casting that what's up guys <laughs> good afternoon morning evening and night everybody welcome to a new one <laughs> It is actually really hard to change your vocal tone without changing your your voice entirely. Mm. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of the Jar Major Podcast, you fucking pussy old thing. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I, f I find the whole, um, like, using certain slang and certain words, I'm very aware of do not work with my voice. No, like say straight up. No, like say pussy old ting. Pussy old ting. Pussy old pussy old ting. <laughs> no, but you're you're going pussy old ting. <laughs> pussy old ting. Yep, this is what I mean. No, pussy old ting. Pussy old ting. They, that there, that works. But then I'm changing the way I speak to him. No, you're not. That's you. No, speaking. but that's how I do it. Yeah. <laughs> For small boy run slang. Uh. Oh, that shit got me vexed, fam. <laughs> What a vexed. A yeah, fucking vexed. vexing fam. Vex you want me word. vexing, bruv? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. You call me Tomar Ends? 
Kan i huma en? Nah. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. You can. Say pussy or thing. Pussy whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> pussy whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the old YouTube that could be the title. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. It looks no. like an old Jokas that has like shit in the title or something. <laughs> I don't know. Those how. were the days. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the bad days. <laughs> the awful days. <laughs> the awful days. <laughs> Pussy old. Fucking rude boy. Rude boy. Say rude boy. Say rude boy. Rude boy. Nah, rude boy. Rude boy. Rude boy. No, you're. It's boy. Boy. <laughs> you you got to use an I, boy. Rude boy. I? Yeah, boy. B O I. It's a boy. Potty, I think. <laughs> it's a bullsy, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's just get. I can do that. <laughs> no, because then you just sound like Jordan V. Peterson. Oh, you want me to do Jordan? Yeah. Um, do Jordan. <clears throat> Say pussy or thing, but it's Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> it just turns into like the Kermit voice, though. No, I, I need like. I need uh, some of his vocabulary type thing, you know? Um, <laughs> are we allowed to say tank? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake! What have you done to me? Wait, who is allowed to say tank? No one. Because we can't say wagwan. That Google advert keeps telling me. What do you mean? It's like this. The the Google advert is this white dude walks up and he's like, "You're what wagwan team mm -hmm. to the to a bunch of black dudes and they're like, <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, I've never said. And, and, I've never. And then never the Google guy is like, "You can't know what you're meant to do until you Google it." Oh, okay. Yeah. But no, like ting. Surely that's like obvious. Ting, ting is just like a like a rude boy pussy old ting. And my ends and all that shit. That is just London. So it's just like. But it's London from like Caribbean. It is, but I think it's so broad now in terms of like an English like thing, that it. It, so it's kind of just is English, um, like just culture. So it's okay to appropriate their culture because they came to us. No, because it's That's it's like saying. it's evolved so much from the orig the original that it's just a staple of just like culture, and it's like it it, it goes across. Yeah, the, it is like an amalgamation of cultures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it is a good thing, but you know, I got oh, I know. No. It's like in school, you, the chavs, they all just speak like that. And that's how I know the, how it, to. It, it was different. Mm, it our, was different. Our chav era was different. Oh, our chav era was very different. They were saying some very odd things. Yeah. Way, <laughs> way lamer. Yeah, way lamer. It's proper like pussy or thing. Mm, yeah. And Wait, just, can we say thing? Yes, we can say thing. If you're concerned, just say thing. <laughs> Pussy old thing. <laughs> Ooh, that's very wrong. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But, but like, pussy old thing is 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 pussy old thing a thing? Of course, pussy old thing's a thing. Oh, that that there is the, uh, is a pussy old thing. My uh, bladder thing is gonna explode. I need to pee so bad. What's that called? The Tower of War Thank. The Tower of Orthanc says thank you for watching this or thank you episode. <laughs> uh, Wait, I've, I've... Try again? Uh, we Tower of Orthanc you for, for watching this episode of the Jar Media Podcast. Eely, eely, eely. Pussy old ting. Pussy old thing. Ow! My bladder is about to explode.